So always take into consideration that that's just a thing. Nice. Go for the near post again. Oh, beautiful goal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goal. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Loic Remy to review today. So this card should be very, very interesting to try out. We're looking at a card that is six foot one with medium, medium work rates. Mm, I love, I love the medium, medium work rates for strikers. If his off the ball movement is going to be good, the medium, medium work rates just works with me so well. Uh, three star weak foot, which is a downfall of the card, but... He could get shot power. He could get finishing. That's already good enough for me to improve his dribbling as much as possible. He has four-star skills, which is always a plus, of course. Um, if we look at the specific stats of the card, we're looking at 90 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. So it's good that between those two stats, his acceleration is higher than the sprint speed because acceleration is what allows you to get into the space nicely. Now, my homie Johannes here that did this card really quickly gave me the... Uh, I told him that it makes more sense to give him the engine boost because you're looking at a plus 5 in the passing for a short passing and a plus 10 in a long passing, which is always nice to have for a striker. But the main thing with these types of players that are six foot one that are going to have a decent stocking game, um, increasing that balance as much as possible is going to be a very ideal situation. So if he has the 86 agility, right, but you increase his balance all the way up until an 83 with the reactions, ball control, dribbling, being higher when he already has 89 composure, 90 finishing, 80 sh 88 shot power, we're looking at a very, very nice card, right? It's going to be very interesting to try him out because I do think, I, I think I'm going to enjoy the card, potentially. Maybe his dribbling might not be high enough, especially, you know, to compensate for the gameplay's responsiveness in certain times. Um, but I do think that he's going to be a very good card. I think he's going to offer a decent physical presence because someone who is, you know, six foot one with the uh, 79 strength, I think is going to make a massive difference. I like to increase passing stats for strikers as well, because with strikers, for me, a lot of it comes down to really responsive dribbling and doing those quick little cuts to lay off the ball to somebody else. Or if I can get into the position myself, then that's obviously a huge plus. But it's always important to have good ideal attackers, no matter where they are in a nice little 4 2 3 one setup or whatever it is, right? So the way that we're going to be using this card is going to be in this team right here. So a nice little fun concept squad. Nothing too serious. I just want to get that 100 chemistry um, and 10 chemistry on Loic Remy. Obviously, that's the most important thing for these play reviews. And then we are going to be using him in the same typical 4 2 3 one that we always use. Uh, however, we are going to be using... Uh, him as a striker, of course, right? And we're going to use the other player of the month in the middle, Nedved on the side, Theo Walcott, blah, 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 Alwar, Sissoko, you know the dealio. So Loic Remy is going to play as a striker. The instructions that we're going to have set on him is bounce because we want to see uh, what his characteristics are in game. And hopefully, hopefully they're pretty, de uh, they're pretty decent because Loic Remy is a huge like foot player. So it's definitely going to be very interesting to try him out. So let's get into a game and see how good he is. Ooh, Remy's already starting off hot. Yeah, the engine card is definitely going to be a huge boost. You can see that his dribbling is actually um, pretty responsive with the uh, with the engine boost. I love that off the ball movement because I always like to do this, right? That's how I like to open up the space is that middle space right there. Then he overcommits, right? And then when he overcommits, watch him come back now. You see it when he comes back? I love overcommitting the attacker in that general space because it gives me that space right there. And then I could do this. A little finesse shot with him. I didn't put enough power, but uh, finesse shots are not really a hugely effective way to score. But um, yeah, man, I, the, the medium, medium work rates, it just works so nicely for me. I shouldn't have done a finesse shot there because I'm, I'm well aware that they're not um, the best way to shoot. Beautiful. Finesse shot again. See? I just, I like to, I like to show you guys that they're not respond, they're not uh, a consistent way to score. That's why when people are like, oh, why don't you just do a finesse shot in that situation? It's because they're not really consistent shots. So it's always mostly ideal to um, to do a power strike, get that get that near post angle or something. But uh, yeah, look at his positioning right now. I love medium, medium work rated players. Like just the way they move to open up the space for others and stuff is so ideal because again, it's the whole thing of pushing forward and then coming back with them. That's one of the nicest things to be able to do. There we go. Loic Remy with the finish there. Very nicely done. My near post angle before wasn't uh, it wasn't ideal just yet, but uh, card's really fun so far. 
I like cards like this because they're not like fully meta oriented cards, but they're just super usable. Um, which is the least I ask for, you know, like I, I don't I don't necessarily need them to release hugely meta oriented cards, just like fun concepts like Loic Remy is always uh, is always a huge plus. I just love his off the ball movement right now. It's, it's, it's always my favorite things with these work rates. You see how he kind of like just holds up that general play, then he runs and he's like, oh, never mind, don't want to run that anymore. I love that. Look at this. Now he's in position. Go back. Ball roll touch. Get that near post angle. The way you want to shoot that specific shot right there when you get that drag back angle is you actually want to aim your thumbstick downwards from the shot because when you do that, you actually... Uh, will mostly do an outside foot shot with him and because he has that three star weak foot you want to avoid that at all costs try to get that um, Outside foot shot in there with uh, you know, just try to register your thumbstick in a certain way uh, Where it feels natural to hit a, an outside foot shot Yeah, so I will say guys 100% give him the engine card like he needs the engine card once he has the engine card, this card is is really really good, man. He already has a hat trick to his name in this game right off the bat. It's a it's just a fun card. I like using these types of cards that are fun oriented cards. Um, first game, we get a nice little three goals with him, looking good so far. A little hold up play there with Loic Remy, nicely done. Okay, off the ball movement, he overcommits there. Let's see what he's like transitioning back into the middle. Pretty decent, actually. I don't like this uh, player of the month French guy. He's, I, I think he's genuinely terrible. Um, but it's just a concept team, right? I, I would never use it myself, though, to be honest with you guys. Good off the ball movement, one touch. Let's see if he can shoot from here. Ooh, save from the goalkeeper. Not too shabby. Just want to see if I can push the ball away from the goalkeeper just a little bit to see if I can get that angle. What we could have done there actually is because the goalie was always chasing him, we could have done like a fake shot stop, do a small little dribble, heel to heel to get past them, and then transition from that. Extremely sloppy in possession. Nice little off the ball movement right there. And ah, uh, the mechanic of the mechanic of like the ball going behind your player and your player just just keeps running forward is can be super annoying. Let's make this pass right here on the side. See what's up with the Alcott. One more touch there. Nice. And he has to do a skip animation. For some reason, he's got to do that skip animation. Could have scored that opportunity if he just did a regular run around the player right there, but that's unfortunate. Yeah, work that near post angle. Nice. There we go. That's uh, finesse shots are just not like a really relevant way to score. You gotta go for those uh, those near post power strikes, and always aim for that outside foot shot, especially since he doesn't have um, the weak foot. And even if he did have the weak foot, you still want to aim for the outside foot shot because obviously it's better to shoot with your stronger foot than it isn't. So always take into consideration that that's just a thing. Nice. Go for the near post again. Oh, beautiful goal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goal. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a really, really fun card to use. Um, you know, it's not it's not a meta card, you know, by any means. It's not going to be like, oh, this guy's going to be amazing against the top tier teams. No, but this is a fun concept card. This is the type of content I expect every day. I'm not even joking when I say that because this guy, he's not a full meta card. There's things that's wrong with him in certain areas, but was it super fun to use this card? Yes, it was. It's a usable Loic Remy card that's obviously very good. This is the card that some people use in the beginning of the year for a cheaper option. So having a moments card like this is just a really, really cool concept, right? So with the engine chemistry style, I do think it is the best option because increasing his balance as well a little bit of his agility makes his dribbling as responsive as possible um the weak foot was obviously very noticeable so you try to aim for those outside foot shots as much as possible when shooting with this card um and i did notice one more thing and i and the thing that i noticed was the thing with his finishing right being 90 I did notice that there were specific opportunities that even when I settled the ball, he didn't really hit 
the direct side that I was aiming at, right? He kind of hit the middle of the goal from time to time. Now, that could be finishing being inconsistent, but um, I do notice that with other players, they would mostly hit the sides in those general situations, right? Didn't really aim for the middle there. I always aim like completely upwards or downwards to always hit the complete uh, sides of the goals. And uh, there were moments that he did hit the middle of the net, but generally speaking, the card is very cheap to do. It's 50k. It's a fun card to play with for that one day or for days in the future. He gets those link ups with Renato Sanchez. I can put Bulaha in the same team. So I'm probably going to do this card just for like the fun concept as well. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. It's 50k. Doesn't hurt anyone to try out a card like this and have fun with it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.